chances to get to the window. I would expect them to throw every trick in the book right out of the gate in order to try to get to the second So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to the ground on first down is Madison. And a hard earned yard there as Ramsey Reed will be tackled. It's second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On the toss, Madison. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. He'll find his man, Lavesca Shirley. Touchdown, Titans! Lavesca Shirley. His first touchdown of the year. And the Titans are losing an extra point and ties up this ball Point after, right down the middle. We have a team seven. So that's a six point, 75 yards. And it was the touchdown catch from LaVisca Chenault that capped it all off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Too deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring down to the end zone is not a good one. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And he's had a great season so far for all of them. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards and give a good performance here. And even in the age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going in runs like that. And they talked to us about leaning on him because they didn't have to. Still won the ball game and leaned on other people to give them the yards that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing for the this game. It's a 12-2 now in the year. They come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory CDs. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in their victory. And this is going to be a good first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Counting down to the midway point in quarter one. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dennis Goddard. And they're able to put this across midfield to the 48. The numbers for him from a week ago. Four catches, 53 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this match. I mean, the unit is going against is in the bottom half of the leg against the pass. He had to circle this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 45. Give the Colts 13 yards in the first down. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath him, just trying to fill up some space. And it worked all the way well. Gather not just space, but from the appropriate work after the catch to pick up a really nice yardage. The run only got a yard. New second and nine. And they'll give him another shot here on the other
throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal. So the way to go ahead and talk about it, you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the foul is imminent. And now Logic can make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks can tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll tell you, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Take it from about the 12. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Partner just Partner looking just at some of the struggles they've had this, this season. season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively are the ones that deep into the playoffs and they're going to the Super Bowl. And you know, in recent years, in terms of people shy of John Baker and Brother Bowley, there's that special one there. I say they go get him. First down, down, here's Corral with it. This goes out wide right for Madison. And he gets this down gets inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, he was a busy man in the backfield a week ago. He got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. On second down, this is Madison. Four yards to pick up the first down. down to round. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Back to the 34 yard. 10 7 on score script. Right here over the Eagles. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee. And it's the whole standing Titans in possession. As they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32 yard line. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. On third down, Corral. And the is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And now a match up at the 10. So that's a second play drive that ultimately strolls out there at the end. But things were a little leaky at the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? So they got closer to the goal line. They stiffened a little bit towards the field goal. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Take it in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite, and on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals, the fact that my players are probably just better, and not try to do too much, to just enough to win the game. And on the other side of the field, I'm doing everything. Hands it off out of the gun and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line. They get six, that'll lead on the third and four. And there was some more downsides of Fitz and Girls in the down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the road quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the band. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw as here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving corner. He can go out and make plays for us. 
in each and every ball game. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they'll keep leading on the running game back to the ground. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense? It looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to them. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. That's sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should say a few men in the box there. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. These two teams met in Nashville earlier in the year. The Tigers coming away victorious. So a win here in Nashville would give them the season series. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. Give the Colts 13 yards at a first down. These work is limitless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now on first down, he'll drop the throw it. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Second and six. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that makes it a 17-10 score. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Setting out to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out of the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10.
And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No, what was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that. Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to go. Look at this. That's a The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And you talk about great blocking up front. I don't think he was even touching on a finger on him until he was brought down to the ground. I think we heard the whoosh as he went by, didn't we? Right through the gap. No one there as you outlined. No one touched him at all. A free sprint into the secondary. Yeah, that's what you call breaking free right there. Corral to throw on first and ten. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Shelley. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Nice run right away. That's going to be on the right side. And he'll go out right near the 35 yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And now they're in a hurry up. Here's a play fake as he sets up the throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 37 seconds to go in half number one. Yard 
Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Two yards to loss, second and 12. So we've so reached halftime half here. Let's throw in a broadcaster so cliche, cliche, shall we? Both teams shall looking for a gift on Christmas, on Christmas Eve. Eve. As we'll head As we'll down head to Orlando, Orlando, that's where we that's find our man, Jonathan, Jonathan Coachman, Coachman, at our EA Sports, Sports halftime, halftime, report. halftime Report. Coach. Coach. All right, Brandon, right, thanks very much. Very welcome, welcome in, everyone, everyone, everyone to this Christmas Christmas. All right, we'll pass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Welcome back, back for number three. The Titans got to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Taken from about the 12. And he's able to get across the 20 to the 25 yard line. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. As they begin As they their begin second their half here, Charles, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously, they're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half ball, half empty type of deal? Which way you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're down with opportunities now. Is because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think they're going to be some places to go with it. And I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. The last play got just a yard. And here's second and nine from the 26. Corral looking to throw it. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. Corral is intercepted again. That's the big three. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to have it here. They're at their own 32 yards line. I certainly think that we've seen a big reason why this team has scored a couple points on the board so far. Because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already. And we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they get him down the middle before he takes him across the 40 yard line. 80 yards rushing for him as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to flip this over to the I hit the wrong damn button. And the Titans are going to take possession now here at the round 33. He's had a fantastic game. I hit the wrong damn button. I mean, with the year he's had, it's a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because, for the most part, what they've seen has been pretty sensational. The first down throw here for Corral. That'll be caught right side shot. And able to get this one across the 55 before he's brought down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Corral with it. First down here. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten, Corral. The Colts are going to get it. There it goes. Jonathan Bernard. He's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Third and low on Corral. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of his mistakes, though, because now 
It's giving, it's giving the deal. It's giving. It'll be a game to seven, 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 seven,
Off the play Off the fake, play he'll fake. look to throw. To throw. And he fires oh, one oh, incomplete. Oh, oh, partner oh, guaranteed oh, they approach oh, this one with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back when they started the stats, now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now back to throw. Running the slam and he finds Mitchell. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas. Back now in Nashville. It's the Colts that got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. The 
It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. On first down, it's Corral. He's got his receiver super. And they get him down down before he takes it across the 40 yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Corral with it on first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard at second down. Corral looking to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Demario Davis, the outside linebacker, dropping him for a loss of six. Talking about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. That's on seven. They've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This will be third and 15. Corral. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he can only manage to get this to the 45 yard line. Well shot the first. So the completion results there is nine yards. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Fourth down, desperation time. And a turnover on downs. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Colts are going to get the football at outstanding field position. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. If you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball the way And they move this all the way down to the nine. Give him 30 yards there. Even with the big lead, he still bombs away, and frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Another touchdown for the year for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taking charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. This offense gets set for a new series. We'll take a look at LaVisca Chenault leading him out. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seen the play all. You know, getting the ball to that guy means yardage, and as we've seen, touchdowns in this game. So I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on. Yeah, so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores. Now he does this off over the middle. Driving line to the field. Through the middle of the field. And they got this down at the 12 yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. It has been a one sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you a set. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. From down at the 12, it's first and ten.
First down, First here's Corral down. with it. And he's dead, he's got it. And he's dead, he's dead. It's a nice pickup for 12 yards, and it gets him first and goal. Corral now to throw. Quick throw, knocked away. It's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line are able to keep leverage, are able to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This Colts D up to the challenge so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. Third and goal, third and goal. Here's, Corral. here's Corral. And that is close. And they're going to see this in the end. They get a score. score pretty much an exercise in futility. Still down big. Now the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down each one. That time, 75 yards for five plays. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. The kickoff team on the field now is they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Colts coming out the end. Well, they don't really they don't need the really points here, Charles, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out of this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Deep right side. And he 
I like the fact that he took the shot deep down deep field, even if you don't get the catch. Maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Thank <laughs> you. 